Morning. Just been for a run, so I don't quite know what's happening really. Um, I've got a friend just signed me up for one of these Nike app things, and he signed us up to do a hundred kilometres in a in a month. I, I, I don't even drive a uh, hundred kilometres. But anyway, yeah. Lesson two, two, two. Yesterday, well, lesson one. We looked at a crunching pattern. Remember the string puppet movement. So we built it from there, two, three, four, up to the snare on the two and four, three and four and one, mm. and then the bass. So we've got a basic groove, right? You've all joined us now, by the way. If you've jumped in today, lesson two is like, oh, I did lesson one. Go back, do lesson one. Um, these will keep going. Someone wants some more advanced stuff, which we'll do, but I want to do it in stages so I know where I am because, you know, Banging out 100k, I bet I don't do this 100k in a month. Anyway, so today, instead of crotchets, one, two, three, we're gonna play quavers. Quavers, you get two, you get two quavers, quavers to a crotchet. Basically, so we're gonna have twice as many sort of hi-hat notes or, or pulse notes, really, because it's the hi-hat that knits everything together. If these are bang on, clean, uh, the same distance apart, um, in, in, in sort of space, y your time's gonna be bang on. So we, as long as we focus on this, th these notes being even on the hi-hat, this is this thing, um, you're gonna have a good time. So, it's got sort of lesson one and lesson two in it. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, just here, these are crotchets, one full note. One, two, three, obviously I'm looking at the wrong way. Quavers, we get twice well, as many notes. One and two and three and four and one and two, three, four. So crotchets. One, two, three, four. Quavers. One and two and three and four and one and. I'll get these printed off. So if anyone wants any sheets, just message me. I'll send you the sheets. But I've got all a full curriculum going from right at the beginning to advanced sort of phrases, so I can send you them whenever. So here's what we did yesterday, but now we want to get twice as many notes. So there's your downstroke. Now, on the upstroke, we get that extra higher. So, crotch it, two, three, four, quavers. Two, three, four, one, and two, and so there's eight notes in the bar of four. Get that pulse. I'll bring it down a bit. So get yourself ready. Here's the pulse or the new time, but then slow it down. One, two, three, four. Look at the movement of my wrist. One, two, three. I'm, I'm, I'm heavily accenting here. Maybe it's a bit too much, but it's just to imply where the pulse is, where the crotchet is. One, two, three, four. Is everyone in with that? Got it? Right, three, four, we're still counting. One, two, three, four. What have we have for breakfast? Mm. We're in this lockdown bit, so I, 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 yesterday I had lettuce on toast. It's lovely. Right, one, two, three. I'm going to drop the snare, same as yesterday, or lesson one, on the two and four. One, two. Home studio, Beats Academy in Kettering. So I've got these silence pads on, which is worth getting. Get them from uh, BW Drum Shop. www.bwdrumshop.co.uk. They'll sort you out some pads. One, two, three. So now we've got to drop the kick in or the bass drum or your right leg. That's going to come in on the one and three. So I'll give us a count. Wait. Wait, three, four, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three. 
So your back B or your bass and snare part is still the same as lesson one. Hold on. Instead of playing crotchets with the high up, with the pulse, play cravers. Ready, here we go. One, two, so I'm playing crotchets, it's very high up notes. One, and two, and there you go. This is a common groove. You can jump, once you've got this at this tempo, Got a bit quicker. You can apply it to loads of songs. I don't know the song, but anything. It's a very popular disco rock beat. Billy G. Lesson three, we'll start to employ other melodies while keeping the hand parts the same, but alternating or changing the kick drum pattern to employ sort of more funkier or, uh, yeah, sort of more funkier grooves, but how to uh, interpret tracks sort of more readily, more correctly. But that's, I'm waffling again, I'm waffling. That was lesson two. I've got sheets if you want them, let me know. Lesson three, we'll have a look tomorrow. There'll be another sheet. Uh, see you then. Adios, amigo!